feed those animals and uh, there are lots of hides set out over this little bit of marshland and uh, the hides are all full of photographers waiting to see what's going to come later on in the night. We've just seen a wolf quite distant on the other side of this clearing and very hopeful of seeing bears later on. I'm all set up with uh, the camera on the 500mm f5.6 which I'm going to be using I think most of the time but I've also got the 300mm already set up on a ball head and sticking out the hide because I can swap to that if the light's really low or if um, something comes closer to the hide and uh, the 500mm is just too long. And I've also put a uh, microphone out through one of the holes in the hide and so with a bit of luck when I'm recording video I'll actually be able to get audio from outside and not just uh, listen to us rustling about inside here. But oh, it's so exciting. It's absolute dream come true being here and seeing that wolf already just now it was stunning. The weather's quite overcast and it's been showery today but uh, the forecast is for it to be kind of broken sunshine later on tonight and then uh, in the early morning so uh, I'm quite hopeful that uh, there'll be enough light but at the same time it doesn't really matter if the animals come and I don't really get anything more than really grainy photos, video. It's the experience of seeing them here. It's going to be absolutely awesome. It would just be nice to have some tracking photos as well, obviously. I don't know what the collective noun is for ravens, but there's a lot of them right here. Right, I'm just going to sit here now and wait. And I guess if something interesting happens, I'll uh, talk to you again.
was at the top of it. And it sat there for a bit, and uh, now it's moved off into the woods, but oh, all within the first two hours of being here in this hide. Absolutely incredible. So good. Anyway, now we've seen our first finished bear. Um, it's time to have uh, some hide refreshment. And uh, the appropriate thing to have, of course, is a can of Karo Olot, which means bear in Finnish.
and it's really all just going on here. There's hardly been a moment in the last, I don't know, maybe five hours that we've been here that I've been able to pick up the Osmo Pocket and actually talk to camera because it's just all go. And by the time you're seeing this as a video, it might look like everything's just been cut together to sort of sensationalize it, make it look like it's all action when it isn't, but my goodness, it, it really is. I mean, right now, let me turn you around if I can. I don't know whether I can see out of there very well. Right now, there are two bears on the carcass and a wolf trying to dart in and a, and a third bear sitting and standing a little bit further away waiting for a turn. And then further over here, you may or may not be able to see there is a fourth bear sitting in the scrub there waiting. I'll just pass the window there. There is a fifth bear sitting over there by the woods. And there are two white-tailed eagles somewhere. I can see one of them sitting in a branch up there. Now I'm recording right now. But you see on the back of the camera, it may or may not focus. Right now, I'm actually recording the wolf and these two bears because there have been some really kind of interesting interactions between them. The wolf's trying to dart in and uh, steal some of the food. And the bears have been, sort of, one of them's been sort of standing up on its hind legs and they've been growling at each other, making incredible sounds. I've got a microphone stuck out of the hide connected to the camera and I really hope I've caught some of that uh, audio because that would be really amazing. sunset now and it's really starting to get quite dark. Um, I switched from using the 500mm 5.6 down to the 300 2.8 quite a while ago. Not actually because of the low light but because there was so much going on so close to the high. I just needed the wider field of view. But it's now starting to be difficult to take stills at all and it won't be long until it starts to be impossible to take video. Once that happens, it'll be time to catch a few hours sleep in the hide here and uh, then sort of wake up in the very early hours once the, it starts to get light again and uh, continue. Although I don't know what there'll be for the bears to, to eat here in the morning because they have absolutely demolished that carcass over the last few hours. So maybe that tonight was the show and tomorrow morning there might not be that much to see but uh, we'll find out i i wasn't going to vlog anymore today but uh, yeah look at this this is absolutely ridiculous let me turn you around there's a bear It's just lying on this decomposing plant material here and we think that it's warm because of the decomposition. Here we go, he's just on the move now. There's actually another bear come to see it. This is all kicking off here and I'm just going to record it with the Osmo. I don't know whether that'll actually work. But no, this is absolutely crazy. 
and also this absolutely beautiful, beautiful bit of sunset going on over there. I don't know if I can actually capture that, but oh, we'd have been happy if we'd seen one bear, or even if we'd just seen that wolf earlier. It's absolutely incredible, beyond our wildest dreams to what we'd seen here. Absolutely amazing. Now this really is the end of vlogging for today. And uh, I'll continue this in the morning when it gets a bit lighter. Actually, to be honest, more like what I was expecting. Yes, it's pretty cold here. Um, the thermometer, as I behind, reckons it's about five degrees. And uh, so I'm going to sit here wrapped up in a sleeping bag because it's pretty chilly actually because you're sitting still and the wind's coming in through the, the, these fabric openings where the lenses are poking out of the hide. I've seen a few interesting bits of behaviour last night and this morning. Um, the eagles, while well, you might have thought that, uh, at least when there wasn't a bear or wolf at the carcass, that the eagles would just fly in, lord it over everything, to take their fill. They've actually been very reluctant to come in and get involved. Instead, they've just swooped through and grabbed some of tidbits and then blown away to eat them further away. Interestingly, the ravens went to bed while the gulls stayed here all night. And there were no ravens actually this morning until about half past four. And then suddenly they all came from somewhere in a big group. And now, of course, they're out there making plenty of noise and uh, picking over the last of the bits of the carcass that are left over. When we first saw that carcass yesterday, I thought that would be several days worth. But 
but it's been absolutely demolished. And the bears tore it apart and took some of the pieces away. And then this morning, the wolves have taken several large sections off into the woodland. Um, they've sort of been waiting for an opportunity to dart in while the bears are either busy sort of facing off against each other or just not at the carcass. And the wolves have darted in, taken some of the meat and sort of run off with it. It's been really interesting in watching the kind of the different behaviours play out and the fact that there are clear pecking orders in both the wolves and the bears and the wolves seem to know the pecking order of the bears and which ones they can get away with their kind of stealing from and which ones will put up a fight. It's quite, it's really quite interesting. Photographing and videoing in really low light also really made me appreciate the uh, um, 300mm 2.8 lens and the fact that once you get into really low light the difference between f02.8 and f5.6 is really really noticeable and it's been very different uh, recording video here and vlogging compared to some of the other videos I've made because last night there was so much activity happening that every time I've picked up the uh, Osmo Pocket, some other spectacular wildlife moment started to unfold and I had to put it down again, which is, you know, obviously it's a good problem to have. But so, I don't know how this video will turn out. It might be really quite different. And of course, there won't really be the same level of kind of B-roll and scenery either, although I've tried to take some kind of wider shots through the windows of the hide. But yeah, it's been absolutely incredible being in the hide here. So I've managed to fill two 128 gigabyte memory cards, mostly with video I suspect, and uh, we've got another hour here before we have to pack up and then go back to the base camp where we'll be able to empty the video cards and have a sleep and then this evening do it all again in a different hide probably. The hides here are really very well set up. They've got uh, nice long shelves, the full length of the hide, that uh, have got holes in and bolts so that you can just put your ball head there, you don't need to bring a tripod. And uh, all along the hide there are nice clear windows that I think have got some kind of uh, reflective coating on them so that uh, the wildlife can't see in quite so easily. The floors are nice and soft. And then there are beds for sleeping. It's kind of porch where you leave your boots and uh, the door from there to the outside is not to be opened until the guide comes to fetch you in the morning. And there's even a toilet, so you don't have to leave. Right, so uh, unfortunately this was the point at which the audio adapter for the Osmo Pocket worked itself loose. And so I lost the audio to the last pieces of the camera that I recorded in the hide. So I'm having to kind of finish the video from home. It had actually been an intermittent fault on some of the previous uh, clips, but I hope I've managed to cobble together a coherent story out of the bits that still had decent audio. It was an absolutely fantastic experience being out watching the bears and the wolves and the eagles and all the ravens. Absolutely unforgettable and as I've said already, there's no way that the video can really convey the whole experience, but uh, I hope I've managed to give you a taste of what it was like being out there. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and leave a comment. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, while I was editing this video, I actually passed 500 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very, very much for that. And uh, yeah, it's really cool to see that the channel's growing. Let's uh, see where we can take it. Um, I'm not sure that I can uh, go out and watch bears every week. That's a bit too expensive and uh, involves taking lots of time off work. But uh, there will be one more video from the hides in Finland from the second day. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet because 
I lost almost all of the audio from that one. So I'm going to have to either re-record the audio or do a slightly different style of video. Anyway, um, as always, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.